What's up guys? So I wanted to do a little video on common mistakes I see people make when it comes to pursuing their goals. So the first one I want to talk about is ignoring signs of metabolic adaptation or holding on to a deficit for too long. So what this means is basically when you pursue a deficit, when you are in a caloric deficit and your body starts to sense that it is without extra calories or calories that support output, basically it will do things called metabolic adaptations to reduce your expenditure, your calorie expenditure. So some of these things include blinking slower. Some of these things include fatigue. Basically, your body is working to slow you down because it senses that it does not have enough calories coming in to support your output. So it's important to listen to things like that. We, You might even see things as far as like sleep issues start to occur. Like then if it goes even further, then we see hormonal adaptations start to occur. We have to understand that the body's priority is survival. So if survival is being threatened, it will downregulate things that are not imperative for survival. So think about this like your cell phone. When your cell phone reaches 20%, it'll ask you, do you want to go into power save mode? You're like, yeah, I want you to live forever. Like I need to check Instagram forever. Like I need you to live. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to offload apps that aren't crucial for survival. It's going to probably dim your screen. It's going to basically get rid of things that aren't necessary for survival. That's what your body does. So we have to understand like reproductive function is one of those things that is not necessary for survival. In a state of stress, the body will downregulate things that are expensive for it to hold on to. So that's where we see the body start to burn muscle mass and store body fat. So understand when you are pursuing a deficit that if you hold on to it for too long and your body starts to feel like it's in a stressed, like an overly stressed or its survival is being threatened, then it's going to downregulate things that are not necessary for survival. Hormonal function, offload muscle mass, store body fat. Body fat is free for it to store. Muscle mass is expensive and contributes to your BMR, so that is expensive for it to store. Hormones are expensive, so understand that is one of the things that will occur, so we can't hold on to a deficit for too long. So now, when exiting a diet appropriately, we do something called a reverse diet, basically restoring homeostasis, metabolic function, hormone function, like making sure that the body does not view that there is stress in its environment. Um, if we do not exit out of a diet appropriately, or if we like, you know, we fall off the wagon, then, or, you know, you reach like a specific like weight target and then it's like, oh my gosh, all the things that I restricted myself from, I'm not going to eat. But yet your body has metabolically adapted by this point. So your metabolism has slowed. You have probably have decreased muscle mass. So anyways, basically during that diet phase, your body sensed that it was in a potential place of where... I don't like to call it like starvation state because we're not starving and we obviously have a refrigerator, but it is like metabolic adaptation. So basically what the body does is it creates additional fat cells. When you come back and you're like, oh my God, I need to eat all the things that I restricted myself from and I'm gonna eat them like twice as much as I would have normally had I not been restricting it or had I not known how to fit it into my macros so that I wasn't restricting it the whole time. Basically, your body works to refill the fat cells that were depleted, as well as the additional ones that it made, just in case, because it doesn't want to have to see itself struggling in another potential situation or it gets to that point again. So then we see basically where we gain back all the weight that we lost, plus some. So it is imperative that you reverse out of a diet appropriately. <sighs> Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. So basically reverse, basically 
increase metabolism, restore metabolism more so than increase it, um, restore hormone function, homeostasis, you know, and basically reduce stressors. So that is necessary to basically get you back up to a good healthy spot that you can pursue another diet phase. When dieting, like you should not be in a diet more than maybe one to two times a year. Like you should do a diet phase, restore, restore um, metabolic function, then maybe you even pursue a gaining phase and then probably pursue a diet phase thereafter. That would be the best way to kind of go after it. So periodization. Um, now, the third thing I see people doing is basically they, you know, restrict or they see the scale like jump up like two pounds overnight and it's like, oh my gosh, like what's going on? Like one, we'll probably talk about um, how hormone fluctuations can have an effect on that. But like, say you're not aware of your cycle, like you don't know what's going on and you see the scale jump up overnight. And mind you, you probably, maybe you ate a little bit later the day before, maybe you had a little bit more sodium, maybe there was some alcohol involved, who knows. Anyways, you look at the scale and you're like, oh my God, it went up two pounds. Oh God, I, I need to restrict my calories. I need to exercise more today. No, you don't. So in order for that to be two pounds worth of fat that you gain there, you would need to consume 7,000 calories above maintenance for that to be 2,000 or two, <laughs> 2,000 pounds of fat, two pounds of fat. So understand that like when you see scale fluctuations, look at what the previous day it looked like. Did you have more sodium? Did you eat later than normal? Did you have more fiber? Have you gone poop yet today? Like, was there alcohol involved? Like, were you dehydrated? Like, there are so many things that play in, play in when the scale does fluctuate that really, like, you can't let that be the determining factor of your worth, essentially. Like, the scale is... The scale is mean and should not be trusted. Like take measurements, take pictures. Um, anyways, those are three things that I want you guys to be aware of when pursuing your goals because like, you know, you don't need to stress about it. Like there's, there's things to understand and knowledge is power and in figuring out what's going on and how to control it and how to do things right you will be in control of the situation and you will have the power to get to your goals. Anyways, hope everyone's having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all soon.